out there, my name is Milesy and welcome to my channel. Last week we unboxed the American Dream scroll frame and this week I want to take a look and review it now that I have had some time to get to know this. Now this is the frame with the, I believe it's 11 inch extender bars and the 14 inch dowels. I do have the 36 inch dowels here or rods, whatever you want to call them which I will be using a little bit to talk about something. I don't want to take this off yet though because I am still working on it and I don't want to mess up my tension any more than I really need to. So first things first is you can see right here kind of up at the top where my stand has kind of bit into the fabric a little bit and I do want to say that that is a fault of the stand. I have said before the stand is garbage. It was not meant for anything that anybody would ever use, but let's not get into that. I did manage to get it to hold on to this though fairly easily, all things considered. I did have to use my C clamp, which is why it's really bit in on that side and not so much the other, because I only have one clamp and that's the best way to put it on there. So that's a fault of the stand, not the frame itself. And I do want to just elaborate on what I said last week is it is very sturdy. It really isn't going to be going anywhere. That is a big problem that I've had with previous scroll frames that for one reason or another, the extender bars would kind of do this business and you would wind up twisted, but this isn't going anywhere. This is really solid. It has some good weight to it without being overly heavy. So my even my stand can hold on to it pretty easily. Um, you just have to have a C-clamp, but it will hold on to it uh, without really feeling like it's going to fall over. Then again, I do have aquarium rocks taped to my stand so that it doesn't fall over. So if you have the Edmund stand, um, you might have to do a little bit of fiddling with it to get it to work. But I don't know how it would work with other stands. I don't have a Lowry, but I have heard other people mention this along with it. It does also have these little holes on the middle of the extender bars. I think that's what they're called. Uh, that they can actually go into a frame that American Dream does sell as well. But so far I really like it. I have not had any issues with the tension. I haven't had to take it off and fiddle with it like I have in the with any previous uh, frames that I have used. And now I will put this down and pick up the rods to show you really what's going on. And this kind of worried me at first is the Velcro. And I know these big rods are a little unruly, but these are the only sizes I bought. And I was really worried about the Velcro really kind of not wanting to hold or stick uh, because it, it's Velcro. I really wanted a basting system for this, but I think in the end, I'm actually pretty okay with this. I was worried that the other side of the Velcro wouldn't stick to the fabric, but it has a lot of glue on there and the Velcro itself is very grabby and apparently pretty easy to replace. I need to go on Amazon and find the links for both sides of the tape, but it does come in the A side and the B side of the tape. So that's pretty cool and it holds really nicely. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, either on the bars or on the fabric. So I think the Velcro is probably the way to go. You don't have to deal with the uh, split dowels like some of the scroll rods uh, use. And like I said, it just, it doesn't go anywhere. Even with my stand biting into it like this, it hasn't really done anything to screw with the tension. I never had to undo the knobs down here to fiddle with it. Once you've set it, it's pretty good. Uh, the only thing that does kind of bother me, but this is what you get with scroll frames, is that the tension only goes this way. There's no horizontal tension, so I do every now and then kind of find myself having to manually pull out the fabric a little bit because it wants to bunch in on itself which is a little bit awkward, but that's kind of what you get with scroll frames. And as long as the tension vertically is good, it's not going to cause too much of an issue, probably. Um, I say probably, but you know, you, you do never know. Uh, there is a way to fix that. 
if like on this project that you see here it's small enough to where you don't really need to scroll it you can take uh, your needle and some thread and actually just kind of sew it around the outsides as well to keep your tension that way uh, but with this one you don't really seem to need to uh, I needed to with the Edmonds frame, but I think Edmonds at this point is just synonymous for cheap. But I don't really feel the need to. Just kind of every couple of hours, I've just needed to pull that out and it's been fine. So that's pretty cool. But there is one issue that I do have about it. Um, I haven't encountered it yet, but I have heard of people who had, and it's the fact that the uh, little screws right here are Kind of in the rod themselves and it kind of worries me a little bit both that you know the, the screws will strip very easily i've had to replace many of the screws on my stand for instance and i've only had that for about two or three years so i'm a little bit worried about the screws stripping i'm a little bit worried about them bending breaking getting pushed in somehow and the same goes with the knobs because they are just a fa effectively very fancy wing nuts on the inside. I'm worried about that part uh, stripping. But one thing that I did notice when I was looking for these is that the replacement parts are incredibly easy to come by. And then I kind of realized that I'm the sort of person who over the last two or three years has bought five different sets of stretcher bars and about a thousand tacks. So buying replacement parts is just kind of <laughs> part of the deal for me, but that can be a deal breaker for some people. So just this bit right here is the only part that concerns me. I'm, I know I'm probably going to be buying a lot of the Velcro tape. I will probably be buying several more sizes of these rods. Um, I probably not going to go much smaller than what I have with the 14 inch because unlike, oops, unlike with the stretcher bars, you don't need to take up the full width of the frame, which is really nice. So if I have something and I don't have a set of stretcher bars available, it can go on this. The only problem is that I only have one set of extender bars, so I might get a couple more sets of those as well. But I'm not sure if I'll go for the 48 inch rods. This is the 36 inch and it's already kind of enormous. And, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how much room I will have to actually work with that here. But yeah, the 48 inch would be quite a bit bigger than this. Um, so I have the 14, I'll probably go for like a 24 inch one, go for in between there. And just, yeah, have myself some options. But I'm really excited to finally be able to start working on some of the bigger projects that I have without having to worry about messing them up with a hoop. I think as soon as I finish my unicorn over here, I'm going to see if the raven will fit on this. I hope it fits on this. Uh, we'll see. If not, I guess I'll go for those 48 inch ones. But overall, I am already amazingly pleased with this. This is the first scroll frame I have ever found that I have agreed with and that I have got along with many of the other ones that I've used. And I've used a couple of them, but they've all been just the really ultra cheapo ones. I had the Edmonds one, and I can't remember the name of the other one that I got, but it was pretty much the same and also pretty garbage. So this is the first one I found that I got along with, and I really, really like it. So I will try to find all of the uh, replacement parts, the Velcro tape and everything like that, and make sure that these go into the Amazon shop. They will probably go at the top so that you'll be able to find them. But yeah, very nice. I do actually really recommend this if you're looking for a scroll frame because it was really cheap. Um, I think for the frame itself and the second set of rods, I think I spent less than $50 for both of those. So that's pretty decent. It will go into a universal stand with a little bit of finagling and it does have the holes for its own a uh, branded stand from American Dream, or if you want to make your own stand, it has those as well, but I just don't have room for a whole bunch of stands, so I'm using the cheap one. But yeah, there we go. Uh, that's pretty much my review for that very positive review. I really like this. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. I'm definitely going to be getting some new pieces for it, and probably just getting a few, new, uh, few other ones just to have a couple of them hanging around. So... 
there we go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye!